Hello, hello, welcome back to my little rock academy. And today I'd like to show you a pegmatite sample. And this particular pegmatite uh, I picked up in Romania. And uh, you can see a lot of quartz here. That's the light gray material here. And also over here, there's a tiny bit of feldspar in there, but it's dominantly quartz and these large tourmalines. And this one is a shortl, and uh, that means it's iron rich, it's black. And uh, this is the most common type of tourmaline. If it's got other components in there and less iron, it can be beautifully colored. But this one is just plain black, but it's pretty large. And uh, tourmaline is trigonal, often it's di uh, trigonal, and that means it comes out with six sites. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six sites. And there's a bit of a core inside here as well. And uh, there the crystal grew around this. And um, boron is rather incompatible. It really goes with the magma and particularly with aqueous fluids. And this is the environment in which we can enrich it in the pegmatite environment at the very late stage where we have a lot of fluid-like components in the system. And uh, that is where we concentrate these really rare elements like boron. Boron is itself already pretty scarce on the planet. It's one of the low abundance elements in, on a cosmic level. And uh, to have concentrations to make borates, boron minerals on this scale is quite amazing. And let me show you the other side of this sample here. You can uh, just about see the sample here as well. And I'll take the scale away. So, and our little core is round about here, and it's actually got three sides. If you look very carefully, but it's maybe a little hard to see, but you can see the six outer sides. And uh, there's some nice little quartz with conchoidal fractures. And uh, there is more of the tourmaline. And here on the other side of the specimen is another tourmaline crystal. And uh, where I removed uh, the sample, there was yet more tourmaline. And you can actually see the stripy patterns of the long axis of the tourmaline here as well. You can just about see the stripes here of this crystal. Or let it, let's see. Yes, here you can see them. So there was another large crystal attached to it and here yet another one. So uh, there were several large crystals. It was really a tourmaline pegmatite. Now, um, boron is uh, industrially very, very important and uh, we need it for fertilizing and a living being needs it for their cell membranes and the boron is fundamental although it's a low abundance element and uh, this was just a quick little impression of how these things look like pegmatites are the place to look for some of them we also mine boron from evaporites economically but in igneous petrology that's one of the main sources of boron if you want to kind of go and find it Pegmatite environments, late stage, granite, late stage granite crystallization phenomena is what we need to look for. So thank you for joining me again, and I hope you enjoyed that. All the very best. Good luck.